Hi guys, welcome back to the studio. Now this is the third lesson in the series all about carpets and how to choose them for your space. So let's get at it and talk about types of carpets. Now the types of carpets is determined by the pile of the carpet. And the pile of the carpet is basically the yarn the yarn that piles on top to form your carpet. The yarns are pulled through a primary backing, sits on top, and then they are secured at the back by a secondary backing and adhesives. Now, on top, the piles can either be cut like this one, or they can be uncut like this one. So this is an uncut pile carpet which is also referred to as loop pile carpet and there yes there is your cut pile carpet so that's two but these two marry into one carpet and create a third type of carpet which is a random pile carpet so here you can see your uncut pile and your cut pile so we have three primary types of carpets but that's not where we stop those three primary types of carpets have some secondary types of carpet that come under each of them so we're going to look at a few of them under each type type of carpet now let's look at loop pile carpets. There are three types of carpet that come under the uncut or loop pile carpets. One is the level loop carpet. Now this may look familiar to lots of you because this is a Berber carpet. This is one of the most common or maybe the most common type of level loop carpet. These are very durable and that is because they have very tight piles and so they help to lock out dirt for example so it doesn't get into the carpet as much and that is why you will see them this type of level loop carpet berber carpet being used in areas like offices basements hallways hotels yes so that's your level loop carpet then the second one is a high low loop carpet this is where you have high piles and low piles. And the difference in height actually helps to form different patterns and textures on the carpet. These two are hard wearing because they are pretty similar to the Berber. It's just that some of the loops are high and some are low. Then there is the third one, which is multi-level. These ones you get even more interesting patterns in because you have two or more piles, um, two or more heights of piles. So you get interesting textures and patterns. And these two are pretty hard wearing and durable. Must remind you that the durability will be affected by the density of the yarns in the carpet much like when you have a sh um, thread count in a sheet the higher the thread count is the more durable the sheet is supposed to be it's similar with carpets carpets come in different grades now i we will look at that when we look at factors to consider when choosing carpets now let's look at cut pile carpets Cut pile carpets, as the name suggests, the piles are cut, unlike the loop piles. And therefore, it appears more luxurious than the loop pile. 
Not only does it appear more luxurious, but the cut pile carpets are definitely softer under your feet. Now under cut pile carpets, you will find a variety of carpets. Shag carpets fall under cut piles because yes, they have cut piles. The yarns are longer and so they are shaggy. I'm sure that lots of you guys know exactly what shag carpets are. No mistake. But then there's the baby to shag carpet, which is a semi shag carpet. A semi shag carpet is one that has shorter yarns and they look much like this here. You can see it's a bit shaggy, but it's not as shaggy as a shag carpet because the yarns are shorter. This is another type of cut pile carpet. Freeze carpets have uh, yarns that are tightly twisted and so the carpet itself is very dense therefore it helps to hide footsteps and uh, shedding don't we your carpet sheds yeah the freeze carpet will tend to hide that now the last type of carpet not to say it's the last type under cut pile but the last one we'll be talking about in this lesson is plush plush carpets are carpets that have low piles they are very smooth and soft and they have a very luxurious look now the third and last type of primary carpet the random piles or the mixed pile which has both the cut pile and the uncut pile you can see the distinct pattern in these types of carpet they create so many interesting patterns and textures and they create so much interest in one piece of carpet and the good thing about these is that they are highly durable that's it guys there is a lot to learn so that you can make the right choice when you go to buy carpet for your space Take with me and learn a little about choosing the right carpet in the next lesson we will be talking about carpet fibers because the yarns that make up the carpets are made from different fibers and not all fibers are equal some are stronger than others so one carpet depending on the fibers that make up the yarn will be more durable or will be more fitting for a particular space thank you guys for watching thanks for subscribing and for liking and yes please leave your comments below let's hear what you think about the lesson and if you're watching this lesson and you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button so you can be notified of new videos take care now and i'll see you in the next video